Greetings, and welcome to DNA Awakening Divine Beings. In my capacity as your facilitator throughout this astronomical expedition in December, I impart the following insights that align with the celestial rhythms. During this period of profound change, we are compelled to restructure, declutter, sort, and shift. In light of our recent spiritual evolution and development, celestial energies are guiding us to prioritize and evaluate our true values and goals. During this critical month, we must exercise self-control in our pursuit of the genuine truth, differentiating it from societally imposed beliefs and values. Presently, our cultural doctrines concerning what is valuable, desirable, and worthy of pursuit are all under scrutiny. Maintaining dedication to this introspective expedition while evading diversions caused by external events and the expectations of others is of utmost importance. At this time, stay in your own lane serves as a mantra. Stick this potent reminder in strategic locations throughout your environment to help you maintain focus on your personal journey and healthy boundaries. It is imperative to maintain a vigilant awareness of potential judgments, rejections, and fear-based reactions that may emanate from others as well as one's own. For the sake of moving forward, concentrate on introspection and forgiveness this month. Consider what aspects of yourself require relinquishment, such as self-forgiveness, for failing to fulfill obligations or uphold integrity. Establishing limits on one's personal process is essential for introspection and development. Discipline is crucial on this journey. Later in the month, you will experience positive energy that strengthens relationships, inspires innovation, and is bountiful. Present circumstances necessitate genuine connections and encourage a reassessment of duties in contrast to chosen obligations. In the process of relinquishing obligations that have ceased to benefit you, embrace forgiveness. Participate in dialogues and cooperative endeavors that are consistent with your personal principles, giving precedence to relationships with individuals who hold similar aspirations and values. Mental clarity is also required at this time in order to examine one's values and beliefs. Make a conscious effort to identify the essential elements in personal goals, relationships, and achievements. Through astute discernment, you will attain a more profound comprehension of your genuine priorities and values, as well as the individuals and pursuits that enhance your existence, by the conclusion of the month. You in person. Striking for a balance between connecting with others and staying in your own lane is advisable during this month. Additionally, it is a favorable month to establish a connection with your innermost truth regarding your true responsibilities and values. An outburst of energy at the beginning of the month fosters organization, foresight, and optimism regarding the future. Leverage this opportunity while avoiding digressions into external matters, processes, or personal energy drains that may encourage further postponement. Benefit from any clarity that may be present in the first half of the month, as it may cause the second half to feel hazy, disorganized, and a little bit indecisive. By completing yearly tasks in advance, you will allocate additional time for yourself at the end of the month when the energy is more receptive and favorable for the expansion of creativity into greater abundance, more profound connections, and aesthetic expression. Core Obligleips With whom are you accompanied? Discovering your tribe and reassessing the significance of your current relationships in your life become crucial. Who is critical in your life that you have neglected to support or connect with recently? Which relationships have imparted valuable lessons to you that warrant recognition and reverence? In situations where you may not feel obligated to be with a particular person, where do you choose to assume responsibility? Who in your life has become an energy leak? Who must one forgive and release from culpability for an incident that transpired in the past? Each of the following inquiries will assist you in the process of discerning and sorting. However, this does not imply that you should terminate all relationships that do not align with your ideal selves. It merely entails reassessing the manner in which you allocate your time with them and accepting full accountability for their status and engagement in your existence. This will eradicate feelings of culpability, condemnation, oppression, victimization, resentment, and rage. Self-forgiveness for suboptimal relationship circumstances constitutes an additional beneficial aspect of the work for this month. During this time, every relationship is purged, reorganized, reconnected, and reassessed. Physical Health and the Body This month, it is critical to maintain a sense of grounding and mindfulness. 
As in the previous month, self-care is emphasized heavily in an effort to boost self-esteem and generate more self-worth by placing oneself and the resources necessary to promote health and well-being first. The difficulty of adjusting to vibrational changes brought on by solar flares, electromagnetic fluctuations, and various environmental stimuli continues to be a challenge for the human body. This month, devote as much time as necessary to supporting and nurturing your immune system. It is particularly easy to overdo it when motivated by influences that promote activity and movement. Avoid overloading your plate, maintain a healthy pace, and rest when you require it. Mercury's retrograde motion on the 13th will help with the processes of reflection, assimilation, and integration by bringing about a much-needed slowdown. Utilize the time to eliminate practices and habits that are detrimental to your health and to establish new support systems that are more in line with your well-being. In regard to mental and emotional well-being, this endeavor centers on relinquishing outdated belief systems that no longer serve to manifest the desired life and forgiving the past as a means of restoring the emotional body to a state of neutrality. Operations and Partnership Ventures in Business This region will undergo multiple iterations of re-evaluation and reordering. What motivates you to participate in a partnership, business venture, or project? If the impetus is rooted in values that have diminished in significance, the endeavor or undertaking might fail to garner the vital backing necessary for its triumph. If a re-evaluation of what is essential reveals that a successful business lacks motivation, then this element must be incorporated into the revision in order for the business to flourish. Service should take precedence over the bottom line. The collaborative element of the month motivates us to consider methods of accomplishing tasks collectively as opposed to independently. Moreover, support is a pleasant sensation. We are coming around to the barn-raising concept of the past, in which members of the community come together to lend a hand, as we strive to strike a balance between maintaining our individuality and autonomy, and the desire to feel as though we are contributing to a greater good. It is crucial to contemplate the balance between responsibility and obligation when committing to any activities this month. It will aid in maintaining clarity and definition. Situation environment avoid placing your trust in the forecasts as their accuracy is highly improbable this month presents ample opportunity for ingenuity with regard to the shifting and changing weather patterns which may bring about unexpected variations in temperature humidity wind and precipitation remain adaptable particularly when traveling for the holidays and vigilant and in the moment while traveling to prevent mishaps and accidents during mercury's retrograde phase December 13th, January 1st. Verify facts, schedules, and particulars. Travel complications are possible at this time. Therefore, maintain fluids. Our personal environment is currently undergoing a process of decluttering, clearing, cleaning, and repairing. The motivation is to enhance the aesthetic appeal of the space, be it through the addition of a new coat of paint, a fresh artwork, or an upgrade to a worn out piece of furniture. Additionally, Personal apparel is an area that could always benefit from a reset. What do you hold dear, appreciate, and wish to maintain above all else in your closet? Repurposing or rehoming should be considered for any additional items. Preserving or substituting worn-out items, whether they are large or small, is another effective way to demonstrate concern for the environment. Furthermore, if you place importance on your surroundings, you demonstrate sufficient self-respect to repair and enhance them. Time frame and dates. 1-7 December. This week is ideal for organizing, planning, and carrying out tasks that can be completed today. It is permissible to overextend oneself during this period of efficiency. Allocate time for introspection, intuition, and creative endeavors. Prioritize tasks accordingly. Being preoccupied with work-related matters could result in the oversight of crucial signals and cues that require re-evaluation. This is a unique opportunity to acknowledge the ways in which your unforgivable sins are impeding you or others. Be courageous and confront intense emotions. It might be appropriate to maturely relinquish past aspirations and intentions that failed to materialize and to progress beyond feelings of disappointment. If new ideas and inspiration for dreams are lazing within, nourish them with your own creativity. 8.15 December during this time, the concept of love is examined in depth. That is what it is? What is the measure of my life? How does affection factor into value? 
Consider your relationships and the way in which love acts as a unifying force. One can be inspired by embracing love, beauty, and creativity. Additionally, it can assist you in differentiating between significant and inconsequential relationships. Additionally, your intuition should take precedence over what you read, hear, or hear others say. Act irrationally, rather than logically. If your thoughts are jumbled and you are uncertain of what is crucial, remain calm and allow clarity to enter. 12th December. The Sagittarius new moon occurs at 4.32 p.m. MST on Tuesday, December 12th. This imprudent, spirited moon inspires initiative, self-assurance, and leadership. Unsupervised, its dominant disposition could potentially escalate into aggression. Conscientiously harness this inclination and employ this vitality to assume authority over an endeavor that you have been evading. During this time, forgiveness is potent due to the intense desire to put the past to rest. During the final new moon of the year, Mercury enters retrograde on the 13th, MST, providing us with an opportunity to follow our intuition. December 16th through the 23rd. Immediately prioritize completions. The influence of emotions over rationality is greater in determining what is significant. Prevalent are fantasy, self-indulgence, and dreaminess. This may result in over-idealism and illusion. When sorting one's own affairs, equilibrium and grounding diminish uncertainty and doubt. As you become cognizant of the shifting sands in your vicinity, center your attention on your emotions instead of your thoughts. Establish a sense of presence by attending to an important personal matter. One can discern whether an object is pleasant or unpleasant to the touch. Your heart knows where to concentrate and what is most important. Adhere to your innermost desires, pursue your dreams without succumbing to indulgence, and maintain a sense of stability and organization. The solstice occurs at 8.27 p.m. MST on Thursday, December 21st, winter in the north and summer in the south. Until the following equinox, we shall revise, reorganize, repattern, and recommit to living in accordance with the truth. A solstice is an ideal occasion to commemorate new beginnings and farewells in anticipation of the upcoming months. We celebrate the return of light, which will illuminate our intentions in the north and light's brimming vitality in the south. Solstices can facilitate the letting go, the forgiving, and the resetting of an anchoring force. December 24, 31. At this time, I am open to experimentation, creative thought, intention setting, and a feeling of abundance, success, beauty, and connection emanating from a higher center. We experience gratitude and grow as a result of gaining new insights and clarity. Despite the fact that we may be emotionally sensitive, it is a pleasant time to be with family and tribal kin. This time is available for the pursuit of something novel and exciting, perhaps even something you have not yet contemplated. Have lofty aspirations, value life, and have affection for the world. As a spiritual speaker, I understand the importance of sharing enlightening content and ensuring it reaches those who seek it. However, the way YouTube's notification system operates sometimes means not all of our valued subscribers are informed about new updates. In light of this, I extend a heartfelt request to each of you following DNA Awakening. Please consider taking a moment to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell icon next to the subscription button. More importantly, choose the option to enable all notifications. This simple yet significant action ensures that you stay connected and updated with all our latest content. Your journey towards spiritual awakening is paramount, and we are here to support you every step of the way. By enabling these notifications, you won't miss out on any valuable insights or transformative messages that we share. Remember, your growth and enlightenment are at the core of our mission, and staying connected is key to this journey. With love and light, DNA Awakening.